Hello and welcome to Rosemont's 2018 Melbourne Premier Draft. It's great to have the esteemed Peter Moody assess our English Premier Draft. Hopefully your next champion. Will you find Rimram? Will you find Prairie Fire? They were recent Rosemont graduates winning stakes races at Flemington to go with our four Group 1 winners off the farm last year. Enjoy the look and hope to see you there at Oakland's Junction. Well, 240, the Star Spangled Banner, Angelic Smile Colt. Well grown Colt, good size and body, plenty of length and stretch about this fella. Good action. Mare's done a good job. She's had eight to the races for six winners, and the stakes performed for Fravashi and Pure Joy. Nice Colt. A little bit lighter bone if you wanted to be picky, but a very athletic individual. Uh, overall, uh, a nice horse. Well, 23, the Star Spangled Banner, Ravil Colt. Uh, Ravil, a young Zabil mare. Uh, he's a well-grown colt, this bloke. Uh, rotates out slightly off four, but correct enough. Walks OK. And good growth and development ahead of him. Lot 164, the Star Witness, still dreaming colt. Uh, big, strong son of Star Witness. Probably a bit more leg under him than a lot of the Star Witness stock. Maybe comes through Elstrom in the dam side. Mare's had one of the races for one winner. He's correct. Moves well. Tidy horse. Lot 38, the Starcraft River Express Colt. Big scopey individual, this bloke. Sits back a little bit on one knee, but action's good out of the wonderful producing River Express. She's had 11 of the races for nine winners. Uh, good stakes producing family. Lot 111, the Dissident Sounds Advice Colt. Uh, very attractive son of Dissident. Well put together, good size, strength about him, correct enough, walks okay. Out the first foal of a winning young Fastnet rock mare, all in all a tidy package. Lot 132, the Savabeel out of Swansea. Uh, typical of Savabeels, everything you want to see in a horse. Good size, correct. Uh, Mare's already had a couple of stakes performed a foal. She's had four of the races for three winners, and two of them uh, in stakes company. So nothing flash about these horses, Savabils, but they're all racehorse. Lot 447, the Star Spangled Banner out of Junipers. Uh, this colt, uh, second foal of a young Pentire mare, and he's got a fair bit of Pentire about him, puts a bit of quality into him, this horse. Uh, Star Spangled Banner, like I said, doing a good job. He's correct. Got a nice action. All in all, quite a tidy uh, young colt. Lot 722, the Sepoy out of Jesse's Girl. Uh, you know, let's be honest, Sepoy's been disappointing to some. Others believe they just need a bit more time. Uh, whatever you think, this is quite a nice horse. Um, good size and body, correct. Nice action out of a very smart two year old winning. Uh, Schwarzy, Philly and Jesse's girl. So I think you've got to look at this bloke with an open mind and if you're prepared to take on uh, Sepoy, uh, he's a nice horse. What, 408, the Rubik Golden Pedigree uh, Colt. Well grown Colt, but still looks a little immature. Pushes out on his off four knee a bit, but I think correct enough in time. Uh, Mare's had eight to the races for seven winners and has done a pretty good job by exciting young Stallion and Ruby. Lot 312, the Wanjina Consistency Cult. Strong, powerfully built son of freshman sire Wanjina. Well put together. Um, good action, correct enough. Three quarter brother to already a stakes place two year old. Just looks a real running type of horse and uh, like I say, by exciting young Stallion Wanjina who's been well received at the yearly sales to this point. Lot 27, the Star Spangled Banner, recently cult. Uh, big, strong, well-grown cult by uh, Star Spangled Banner, who's doing a good job late. This bloke's probably a bit more like his uh, sire, sire, Schwarzy. Uh, plain, plain type, but like I say, well-grown, well-developed, correct, and walks OK. Lot 313, the Dissident Cool Sheets filly. Uh, wow, big strong girl, uh, very attractive daughter of Dissident. Um, correct, good action, very well grown. August foal, uh, even though she looks big now, she's probably not going to grow a lot more, but she doesn't need to. Everything's there. 
nice filly. Lot 68, the Star Spangled Banner, Sean Ballymore filly. Uh, lovely filly, well grown, good size and body. A little upright in front, a little long in the pastern, but uh, overall just a nice uh, filly to stand off and have a look at. Uh, out of uh, Sean Ballymore, as I said, the stakes performed Cape Cross. Lot 451, the Star Spangled Banner, Corrali filly. Uh, this is a nice filly, strong running type of filly, good size and body about her, correct, walks nicely. The mare's had one to the races for a winner, a your song filly in South Africa. All in all, quite a tidy filly, a lot of schwa's here about her coming through Star Spangled Banner. Lot 85, the Smart Missile, she's pretentious filly. Uh, nice well grown filly, good size, um, correct, action's okay. Bit of a plain Jane. Uh, when you first have a look at her, but when you look into her, I think she'll find plenty of things that you like about her. She's uh, all in all a nice filly and smart missiles. Fillies are getting the job done at the moment. Lot 479, the more than ready La Havre filly. Uh, another nice bodied filly. Not 100% in front, but correct enough. Rotate slightly off four, and action's okay. Well put together out of a young flying spur mare who's uh, quite well related. Done a good job for a first foal, this mare, La Havre. Lot 550, the I'm Invincible Oasis Bloom filly. Uh, this filly sells herself. Big, strong, running type of filly. Correct, walks well. A lot of Dane Hill about her through the dam side. Just a lovely filly. Lot 351, the Ocean Park Due Diligence filly. Uh, good, well grown filly, correct. 10th of November foal, so she's a filly that will continue to improve. Ocean Park really starting to get the score on the board as a stallion. His progeny are getting up and running now. Uh, there is uh, Autumn three-year-olds and he's doing a good job at stud. And like I say, this filly will continue to improve and develop as she uh, goes on. Lot 709, helmet filly out of Heigl. Uh, good bodied filly, medium size, good bodied. Slightly offset off four and a little upright. Mum's had three to the races for three winners and is doing a good job. Lot 440, the dissident out of Jesse's Dream. Uh, medium sized filly but correct and got a very good action this filly. Uh, dissident young stallion's been very well received in the sales ring out of Jesse's Dream. The young Schwarz ear mare, very well related. Eliza looks with a wonderful action, this filly, and it certainly presents very correct, so uh, nice source. Lot well, 359, the stratum out of Allen D. Uh, this is a lovely bodied filly, good size, strength, looks a two year old running type. The mare's had four to the races, all winners, and already the stakes performed. Ride the breeze in South Africa. Um, just a lovely filly, looks a runner and looks a two year old. 768, the Starcraft out of Okado. Uh, lovely filly, good size, well put together, correct, with a very big action. Uh, full to the stakes performs, Starkiato. Just all over a nice filly that uh, could be terrific value in the second session of this sale. Lot 49, the Sebring Rosemont Flyer. Medium sized filly, very strong. Correct. Action okay. Gets along. Uh, looks like a filly that might get up and go a bit early. She's a uh, strong, precocious looking filly. Well, 103, the Star Spangled Banner filly out of Sky Ruby. Uh, another filly of medium size. Bit of testarossa about her, but she's a op late October foal, so she's got good growth ahead of a strong running type of filly. Rotates out a bit in the near four, but certainly presents correct enough, and her action's okay. Looks a running filly. Lot 386, the Zoo Star Fighting Flyer filly. Uh, November foal, medium size, is going to grow into a nice filly out of a young, uh, well related fast net rock mare. She's got a good action, she's correct, and just will continue to improve this filly. Like I said, 5th of November by Zoo Star, taking all before him on the racetrack and in the sales ring. Uh, this young stallion doing a very good job and this well-related filly certainly not going to let the team down, I don't feel. 
Lot 510, the Star Spangled Banner, out of Miley, Philly. Miley, extremely well related. Young Rubiton Mare. Uh, it's the third foal. She hasn't had one to the races yet. Um, good bodied Philly. She's not 100% in front. That's a bit typical of the, the Rubiton line, the DM sire. But uh, overall, just a nice, tidy Philly. 543, the Star Spangled Banner, My Secret Love Philly. Uh, good size and body, this filly, um, correct enough, a little bit upright in front, actioned okay, Star Spangled Benner doing a good job from restricted opportunities at stud, so uh, she's a little bit of a plain Jane at first appearance, but uh, when you look into her I think uh, there's very little wrong with her, tidy enough and uh, carries herself well enough. Uh, lot 71, the reset out of Secret Cove. Uh, good size filly, well put together, she's a lovely bodied filly, uh, sits back a little on her knees, and rotates slightly off four but her action uh, hopefully is good enough to overcome that but uh, good size filly and like I say good bodied, well related filly, gives her a chance. Lot 765, the declaration of war, Ocean Fleet filly. Uh, big, strong, well-grown daughter of Declaration of War, very much in the mould of her dam sire, Fastnet Rock. A lot of Fastnet Rock about this filly. Uh, rotates slightly off four, uh, but very well-grown filly. August foal. Lot 669, the Star Spangled Banner out of Cara Valley, a Viscount mare. Uh, well-grown. Well put together, good bodied filly. Hope to see you at Oakland's Junction this week where you could find your next Rim Ram, Prairie Fire, Montoya's Secret, Santa Ana Lane, Hey Doc, the list goes on of stars that have come out of our draft in recent years. Good luck and happy racing.